Hey, what's up? John Charette here, and today we are unboxing and taking a peek at the brand new ProArt Z890 Creator motherboard. Huge thank to Zeus for sending it over. Now, I'm super excited to check this out because I'm actually running the Z790 in my system right now with the 13900K. So now that uh, we've come out to the new Ultra CPUs, I was waiting until my 285K came in, so pretty excited to get this installed in this guy. But first, let's get this guy unboxed, uh, see what's inside, I'll show you the accessories, all the goodies, and I'll point out a few specifics, what's the difference between this and the older Z790. And if you haven't checked out my review here of the comparable ProArt, the X870E on the A and B side of things, we'll do a comparison later. But for now, let's stick with this Intel motherboard, let's get it unboxed. First thing I've noticed, interesting, uh, we'll talk more about the direct comparison, but this motherboard doesn't have a foam piece on it, but the X870E did. It's just very interesting, the, the subtle differences. Let me grab something that I can, I can put down underneath this. Okay, let's check out accessories. Okay, we have a lovely, I think it's a bag. Yeah, it's a nice little bag with a pro art logo on it cool do, 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 do. downloads for asus drivers oh this one actually does come with a manual unlike the amd version what else cool we have an antenna system they did change the ends of the antenna you don't have to screw them in anymore you can clip them in we'll we'll try that out later i'll show you it's sata cable we have rubber stickies for m.2 rubber stoppers we have help with your pinout for your reset power switch. Cool, more rubber stickies. Um, some M.2 clips that help keep it in if you need to replace those. More of them and more rubber. And that's it. Okay, no cables other than the SATA cable. Okay, cool, all right, let's go grab the board. There she be in its glory. Super, so, so first thing I, I noticed, like I said, they have this, this new uh, heat sink on top of your primary M.2 slot. Uh, neat, neat design here with the, the VRAM heat sinks. Uh, they have a nice little curve to them. And then this larger piece here, which I'll show is, is pretty neat, uh, which covers your M.2s, uh, your, your additional M.2s. But here, check out this, even can you see? Yeah, look at that, it's kind of it's kind of neat. Not as cool as the AMD one, but hey. Other than that, I mean, let's, let's, let's go around the board and then I can kind of show off all the particulars. So here, starting at the left side, you have your auto jack, COM port, uh, two different chassis fans, uh, RGB, um, five volt RGB, that's good. You have clear mo uh, CMOS button which is all right, only a single USB 2 internal connector, which is interesting. If you have an AIO or perhaps some extra goodies, you end up using that quite often. Now you can get splitters for them, but still cool. Oh, so then we have a, a debug, we have a temperature sensor, and then we also have a chassis intrusion. There might even be two of them there. Another chassis fan header here. Oh, a, t a TPM. Uh, pin out. Okay, cool. I can't say if I've used one of those. Leave a comment down, down below if you know a really good reason to use one in, in a normal build. Cool, CMOS battery, and then here your front panel uh, pin out. As we slide around, you have SATA connectors here, which is great. More uh, chassis fans here. Your USB, it just says five gig, gigabit uh, US, USB uh, A. So kind of for your front panel, USB-C, your 24 volt uh, pin connector, which is interesting. On the old Z790, there's an additional six pin, which sends some extra juice to your first PCI Express slot for your, for your GPU. They seem to have taken that out, which is really interesting. Another RGB header here on, on top. And if we keep sliding around uh, and a CPU overvolt uh, pin jumper override, never had to use that. I'm not a big overclocker. 
like I said, not, I wouldn't recommend it for this board. The fact they threw it in, interesting. Three more headers here, and they have a nice little rubber cover on them, which is kind of interesting that they put the cover there. I assume it's just because sometimes you have like a, a radiator up top uh, that, could, that could hit that. Some fins, and then your two power connectors here. Also, on the ZN790, they had an eight pin and a four pin. And meanwhile, this has two eight pins, which is definitely becoming the standard when it comes to power. So it's good that they're at least putting that there for, for extra juice. Okay, what else on board here? RAM, things to note, uh, it's gone from a, a total max RAM, 192 gigabytes, up to you can do 256 gigabytes in this board, up to 9,000 megahertz, but you do need to use the new CU DIMMs, which I have not seen or held or tested yet. I, yeah, I don't know if I'll get some before I test this board. I just have your standard DDR5. Uh, in my current system, I have some 6,400 megahertz, but uh, my understanding is that it will not work as fast unless you have CU DIMMs. Okay, let's check out this M.2 slot. So there's a little switchy switchy here. Okay, flick that and it pops open. You can see you have cool thermal tape on both sides. There's a little slider here. If you wanna change the size of M.2, the length of it. Here, here's a standard burp. I call it standard, but a 2280 uh, M.2. You just slide that guy. Oh, helps to put it in the wrong side. Slide that guy in, slide it down, and then you should just go click. See, nice, very satisfying click on that one. And then it does have a little bit of a, a jump. This is a single-sided M.2. And then you take this guy and done. So it's pretty nice, of course, take the plastic off the thermal, you know, the thermal pad, and then you they pull that back out. Boom, it's out, which is super cool. How many of you have heat sinks pre-installed on your M.2 SSDs? I've never bought one with a heat sink on it. So for me, this is a huge advantage that you get this one here. Next is the other M.2. So here, let me pop that. Boop. Yeah. So this is pretty neat. So now we have the other four slots in here. So you get one, two, three, four, five total. What's special about these M.2 slots? Okay, so the first guy and the second guy are controlled by the CPU. Three, four, and five, plus this extra port here are controlled by the chipset. Uh, you have a standard 16 port on both of these, unless you wanna use both of them, then it goes down to uh, eight, eight speed for both, uh, which, is, which is fine. If you use the fifth M.2 slot, it disables the uh, this 4x. So it says it's a 16x. I'll have to confirm that. Uh, let me let me I'll put up on screen. But if you use this, it disables the same thing. The the, the fifth M.2, uh, which is I mean it's kind of either or in in that case, which is I mean I don't know how many people need that many M.2s in there. So to me that's totally fine. I'm still rocking like a one terabyte uh, for my main and then a two terabyte for my extra content. Uh, what is very, very nice about this board over the previous Z790 is that this primary uh, slot is a Gen 5 SSD, uh, M.2, so that that is great. This here is, is a Gen 4, but I had picked up a Gen 5 M.2 for my current system that I'm using now. I was going, oh yeah, super excited, because when I was using the ProArt B650, the AMD side of things, it had a Gen 5, and so when I moved it over, I said, okay, cool, great. It's actually Gen 4 on the Z790, so I'm very, very pleased to see that it is Gen 5 on, on the new one here. Uh, so let me know, are you upgraded to Gen 5 yet? That's pretty much it. I mean, you have your thermal pads and stuff here to cover. Close that down, and let's look. Oh, okay, cool, got it. Let's look at the rear ports. Okay, first you have your display in, which very key point, display in. You literally have to connect the display cable from the back of your GPU into this. And the reason that for that, you can then use your two, actually three here, Thunderbolt ports as display ports. So what's nice about this board, it actually has two Thunderbolt 5 ports uh, and then one Thunderbolt 4 versus the old board, the, the Z790 only had Thunderbolt 4. Other than that, a bunch of 10 gig USB uh, A's, which is great. Your, your BIOS upgrade, love the BIOS upgrade. Uh, I've used it many times for, especially if you're putting new CPUs. 
uh, and you get another older motherboard and you don't have to go find another CPU, you can upgrade the motherboard firmware, the BIOS, without needing to have a CPU in. It's literally a game changer. I love that Asus has put it in and all of their higher end boards. Uh, yeah. Love it, chef's kiss. Uh, another big differentiator about this board in general in the ProArt line is that it includes a 10 gigabit ethernet and a 2.5 gigabit ethernet. Sick, I haven't even used 10, I haven't even used 2.5 yet, but the fact that it has 10 gigabit, you have a, a notch, something like that where you can connect directly to it, you can, which is, which is great. I mean, still, I think you're future proofing yourself, but when you're spending this much money on a motherboard, I mean, it's, it's nice that it has that technology already built in. So you are set for the future. These are the two Wi-Fi connectors. Uh, let me grab that and I can see, I'll show you how, how easy they, they click in. And last is just your uh, mic in and a line out, very basic audio uh, on, on this system. Uh, nothing, nothing fancy. So that's a pretty much overview of the board. For me, the big takeaways, this lovely heatsink over top of the fifth gen M.2. Absolutely love it. I'm just excited to try a new, I mean, it's a new socket type, uh, the new Intel Core. I, I know it, it's gotten some pretty bad flack uh, being released. This is the second round of CPUs or after the initial release, I had to pre-order it and it took about a month to come in. So I don't think it'll perform any different, but stay tuned. I mean, I will be putting this together and trying to use it uh, and comparing it to the AMD side of things where I have a 9950X that I will compare it to head to head to see what works better. Uh, I do primarily content creation, but I will also try a few games and see what that's all about. Yeah. This, this M.2 is great. The fact that, uh, I mean, you can put add more RAM in there. I'm still stuck at around 64 gigs myself, but I'd be curious to, if, if I got some more dims to try that out. That, that CU dim situation, still don't know if that RAM, I haven't even looked at the prices to see if it's, it's crazy expensive yet, uh, but I'll try that out. That's pretty much so far. Stay tuned. I will install this in a system next. Uh, before I do that, I will do a head-to-head -head compare between this motherboard and the AMD side, the X870E, just to see the, the, the subtle differences in feature sets between the CPUs and the chipsets. Thank you. Stay tuned to the next one.